Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite video game character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, flap in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Hello? Oh, can I help you? Oh, the new nanny? <laughs> That's right. Please come in. You must be a listener, right? Welcome to my orphanage. I run this place. Especially for the young children that, um, are a little different like other children. Well, yes, because they're orphans, but let's say they're unique, peculiar. <laughs> I love that book too. But yeah, it's a little inspiration for that. Um, let me take care of that coat for you. Mm hmm. I hope you don't mind any children just running around. It's recess, you see. Oh yes, I mean, I do have a friend that is a teacher and would teach the children after, you know, work from other schools. Huh? Oh, how do the kids act? Well, they are very behaved and yeah, some of them can be little troublemakers, but they, they, they're really good, don't worry. Except I have two boys that are having a hard time to participate in, you know, friends and playing along. They'd rather do their own things. Yes, and I was wondering, not only watch over the rest of the children, but the two boys as well. You see, I adopted them about a year ago, and they were having a hard time to talk to me due to the trauma they've been through. Mm-hmm. Well, one of them is outside, and the other is indoors. Hmm. I think Mono could be in his bedroom. He likes his personal space. Well, what I know about Mono is... He has trust issues. Well, you see, he came from somewhere really nightmarish, far away from here. A place where a child should never go through. And he has trust issues because some of the kids would pick fun at his, you know, wearing a bag over his head. I do give him some time to explain to me, but he wouldn't even talk to any therapist either. But... Maybe you can help him to come out of his shell a little bit. Just peek his head out of his shell. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that could be him. Mono. Hi, sweetie. I want you to meet our new nanny, listener. Hi, nanny listener. Care to explain what you're drawing right there, Mono? Only if you want to. I'm drawing me and a friend. Aw, that's so sweet. Do you need anything like more crayons or pencils? I'm good. Thank you, Mother Allie. Of course. How long will you be staying here, Nanny Listener? Well, it's your first day and to see if you kids would like her. Hmm. Do you think a two-day notice would be okay, or a two-week notice? <laughs> okay, okay, a two-week notice. Mother Ali? Oh, yes, Mona? Are the kids still outside? Yes, sweetheart, they're still outside. Why, you want to hang your drawings on the fridge? Mm-hmm. Care to we come together? Yes, please. Come on, listener, how about we walk Mono to the fridge? He likes to hang his drawings on the fridge, just to express his creativity. Yeah, he's a very sweet boy, but I still give him some time and alone time. Quite of an introverted little boy. Mm. What I remembered about what he told me, 
Let's see, he had a friend that betrayed him. And that's what developed him more trust issues. Mm-hmm. He doesn't like the word betrayal. Or mentions a, a certain number. Well, technically a name, but I'm not gonna say it because that would uh, trigger him a bit. I hung it, Mother Ali. Oh, oh no, this looks amazing. Oh, you're such a little artist. <laughs> Thank you. Say, do you know where Ola is? He's probably outside with the other kids. Hmm? Oh, that's the next kid that also has a little, um, who's unique. Well, keep up the good work, Mono. If you need anything, don't be afraid to ask anything, okay? Yes, Mother Ali. It's a pleasure to meet you, Nanny Listener. Hopefully we will get along. Um, bye! <laughs> Alright, let's head outside. Hmm, he could be around here somewhere. Huh. Oh! Ole, he's... He's another little boy. He's about nine years old. He suffers from PTSD trauma. He told me about his past a little bit and it kind of reveals something like a fairy tale. That he's seen so much that a child could never see. <sighs> the poor boy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Looks like he's just making his adorable flower crowns. Aww, he's singing his adorable song. Well, it's actually a traditional song from Sweden. You know, the first day of summer. It's actually a very beautiful song. I tried singing it myself, but the way he sings it is so beautiful. Don't worry, he knows some English. Don't worry, I think he knows about you coming. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's walk up to him. Hello, Ole. How are you? Oh, hello, Mother Ellie. I'm just making flower crowns for fun. <laughs> That's very sweet. Why are you still in your PJs? They're so cozy. So you were wearing PJs during class? <laughs> you know what? I won't be mad at that. Also, Ole, I want you to meet Listener. She will be your new nanny in the next few weeks. Oh, hello. My name's Ole. I'm a really behaved boy, and I do all my chores, I eat all my vegetables, and I love going outside. <laughs> and welcoming you here in the orphanage, here's this flower crown I made for you, as an honor. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> so sweet of you, Ole. I'll be making your flower crown later on. I need to know... Hmm... I know your favorite flowers, I just need to search for some. Take as much time as you need, sweetie. I'm just showing Listener around. Hopefully we get along very well, Nanny Listener. <laughs> Mother Allie is very nice. Having two nannies and mothers here will really make things feel brighter. Yes, he's a very, very sweet boy. But his backstory really does break my heart. Mostly for him and Mono. Well, Nanny Listener will be staying us for dinner, so <laughs> you'll be seeing her around a lot, okay, Ole? Okay, I'll be working on more flower crowns. Okay, we'll leave you be now. See you later. Bye-bye! Well, it appears you met the two boys. How about we head back to my office so we could uh, have a little chat? Why, of course. All right, let's head back inside. Hmm, looking at your records, you have been babysitting ever since you were a teenager. You know the traditional things, you know, tucking them in bed, reading a story, making them dinner, help them with chores. 
Hmm. It appears to also help with children with mental disorders, mental health, illnesses. Okay. Hmm. I do like the results that I'm seeing. <laughs> Usually, the nannies I would always hire, they don't know a single thing about what these boys went through. They say that they're just mentally sick. But deep down, they just need a hug and a proper childhood and not relive those horrible memories they've been through. Especially... I'm still curious about Mono. He really worries me the most. And so goes to Ole. I really care about them. And it's my job is to recreate a better childhood for these boys and not remember those horrible memories, which I would understand would always be stuck in them. But I want, to, I want them to know that not everything has to be a living hell, like a living nightmare. They deserve happiness and comfort. I have told this to I don't know how many nannies, and you are probably my only hope to help these poor little boys. I'll be counting on you. Oh yes, I am serious. The pay is very fair and very reasonable. Yes, I would, I would take care of the rest of the children, but for you is your job is to help Mono and Ole. Yes, I will be glad to give you a two-week notice just in case. But if you can do it, this can be a full-time job for you. And we can even give you a place to stay. What do you think, listener? Do you want to take the job? <laughs> well, welcome aboard, sister. <laughs> I know you boys have been watching. Come out. Sorry, Mother Allie. We just wanted to see what was going on. <laughs> well, I have some good news. Listener will be staying with us, but only for two weeks, just to make sure if she's okay with the job. And she's going to help you boys to come out of your shell. Hmm. Okay. I'll give you a chance, Nanny Listener. It'll be so much fun! Well, looking at the time, it is almost dinner time. I'd say we should prep up some food. Oh, I want to cook! Can I help? Well, of course, Ole. Mono, care to help? As long as just me and Ole, and you, and any listener, I'll be fine with that. <laughs> okay, Mono. Well, let's head to the kitchen. I'll race you there, Mono. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, listener. You must have made my day and these boys' day. You truly are a gift. <laughs> Alright. Let's head over before other the other kids come inside. Mono really likes to do things alone. But except for me. But I think they're starting to like you. Maybe they sense a good aura coming out of you. I do the same thing as well. Your aura sounds comforting and safe. That's a good sign right there. Mother Allie, are you coming? Yes, sweetheart, we'll be coming. <laughs> These boys really love to cook. Come on.